Hello, I'm Mary V. Today, let's talk about putting the energy into the start of the stroke. So how you start the stroke is very important. Um, it gives the energy which lasts right through to the end of the stroke. Um, during the, the bow stroke, you can change colour and everything, but how you start is the really quite important thing. So there's a little exercise you can do to get the feeling of how to start the stroke. And it's put your two hands together and then explode out like that, okay? In a slightly upward curve like this, right? So the bow and the left hand both have the same feeling. Uh, they're both in the same shape like that. Everything is like that. And that is what you actually need to do with both the left hand and the bow together like that a beautiful little explosion of sound so that idea of having the same feeling in both of the <clears throat> the fingers and both of them um, exploding out like that um, is so incredibly useful because sometimes the left hand and the right hand appear to be very separate things but when they work together um, that's when a lot of magic can happen with your sound. They're both ready. They've both got that feeling of working together and creating um, a movement in the air of sound. That's, that's the feeling. Everything comes together. The violin, the strings, both of your hands together, right? So um, it starts with the right hand with a, a little explosion out the way and that's how to do the clip bowing the articulated bowing listen to the little click at the beginning of the the stroke now that can be very very subtle it can be just like a puff of of air that comes out uh, or it can be um quite noticeable But the same stroke without that is, um, isn't giving the same meaning, really. There's no articulation at the beginning, and that's very unnatural. Because the more that you can um, be like a singer, uh, the better your violin sounds, the better sound you can make, the more musicality you can produce. A singer doesn't really sing ha ha you know with no consonants a singer sounds really great when they start the note in a really positive way pa like that okay so there's it's just can be very subtle or it can be very noticeable but it's got to be there so this is a game changer for your sound to really get the left hand and the right hand working on a mini explosion together and then you can play legato you can do anything you like and don't forget it's got to happen on the up bow as well so within playing legato you can still do it uh, with a change of bow with a little emphasis and a remembering of how the note starts. But if it's a continuing note, you can still do it like this. Like that, I mean, there's, it's a continuous note and yet there's a bit of articulation at the beginning with the left hand and the right hand together. So this articulation is a real game changer for your sound and your ability to sound more soloistic, to produce more musicality. So have a go at it and uh, just remember that what to do with the right hand, press the stick down a little bit like that and release very quickly. Right, but, but as a matter of fact, it's a tiny little movement. So I'm pressing the stick down a tiny bit.
and that's how I produce my little uh, articulation. But when I do it with the left hand as well, immediately at the same time, and then I quicken the bow, uh, that's where the magic comes in. So have a go at it yourself and see the difference it makes in your sound. Um, your violin will love it, your bow will love it, and you will love it. So I'll leave it there and I'll say bye-bye for now. Bye.